everybody, this is Christina from Creations with Christina and I'm coming to you today as a design team member for ScrapbookPal.com. Today we're going to be using the freshly picked Cricut cartridge in our Gypsy to show you how to make a um, card, a shaped card using the freshly picked cartridge. And I'm going to be using the, um, I'll just give you a quick look at the manual, but I'm going to be using the overalls that are in, um, on this cartridge and let's see if I can find it quickly around here somewhere. Okay, I'm going to be using these overalls to make a shaped card. So let me how, show you how I'm going to do that using my Gypsy. Okay, let me just zoom in a little bit so you can see my screen here. Okay, so what we're going to be doing is I'm going to be using the freshly picked cartridge. So I'm just going over to my mat. Well, let me stay on my mat here. Everything I'm cutting out is going to be at five and a quarter. So I could set that before I start and now everything I add to my mat will automatically be coming up as five and a quarter. So what I'm going to be doing is using the overalls and I want to do the overalls in a shadow feature so I'm going to hit the layers three shadow and I'm going to select one pair of the overalls and this is going to be for the base of my card. And what I'm going to do now is go to my advanced tab and I'm going to copy my overalls and what I do, this is how I do it, is I zoom in a little bit here is I layer my images on top of each other and they kind of turn yellow so you can see that they're on top of each other and this is how I get it to be lined up perfectly. Okay, so I'm going to select and now I'm going to go over and uh, select my flip key and I'm just going to use my arrows here to move my overalls up so that they meet just at the top a little bit. So I zoomed in and I just moved my screen over and I select the overall again and I'm just going to keep moving it up until they're just overlapping here. Okay. So now what I'm going to do is just go back to the screen and I'm going to go to the basics page and I'm going to select group and I'm going to group my overalls together, hit the group key again, go back to my advanced tab and hit the weld key. And then when I hit the um, preview key you can see it's grayed out and I'll zoom in just right here. It's grayed out right here where the two overalls meet. Okay, so I'm going to turn the preview key off and I'm going to zoom back out and I'm going to add all my other layers to the other side of my mat here. So I'm going to go back to my cartridge. I'm going to turn my layers and my shift key off. I'm going to select my overalls. I'm going to add that to the mat. So now my overalls will be down the bottom because I'm going to put all of my different layers of paper on my mat at one time. I'm going to go up here to the layers key. I'm going to select the little patch. Add that to my mat. I have to move this down a little bit. Hit the shift key. I'm going to add the little red heart, the heart, which I'm going to cut out in red. Just put that there on my mat. Ooh. And then I'm also going to select Oops. this layer right here which is the bottom of the pants in the pocket and I'll add those so let me go ahead and cut those out and I'll be right back and I'll show you how to put this together okay so I have all of my elements cut out for my card and what I'm going to do now is just go ahead and put everything together this is the overalls that I showed you how we welded together so I am just went ahead and already folded those and created my little crease line on the top here before we attach anything to the base of our card, I want to put all of my elements together. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to get out my little uh, paper piercer. And I just need my mat to pierce the holes because I'm going to use brads for the buttons. Because I didn't cut those out with my original um, images. So let me get my brads out. And just a quick tip uh, for your brads. Keep the little, once you've used this, uh, all of your pieces up, if they come on a foam block, keep the foam block because you can use it for paper piercing um, and other things. So just uh, hold on to your foam blocks because they come in handy. So I'm going to use these two little red brads here that we'll just poke those through and those will be the buttons to our overalls. I'm 
make sure they're right in the right spot so that they're not poking through. Okay, so that's that. And let me just bring in a piece of scrap paper here because we're going to do some gluing with our two-way glue pen. We'll turn all of our pieces over here. Probably hard to see all that white on there. Um, so I'm just going to go ahead and do the outline of the pocket first. Just going to go ahead and line those up on my overalls. Oh, how cute. That is so cute. And then we'll do the little patch. And that goes right down here on the knee. And then there's a little heart, and I cut that out in red so it kind of matches with the rest of my, my papers. Oops. Okay. And then we have the pant, the bottom of the pant legs, and I just want to make sure I have the right ones in the right spot here. Okay, that one goes there. And then this one will go on the other leg. Oops, upside down. Just like that. Okay, and now we'll go ahead and attach this to our card. And I'm going to actually use some dimensionals for this, or some pop dots. Okay, so I added my dimensionals or my pop adhesive to the back of my image, so I'm just going to go ahead and add this right to the front of my card. Okay, oh, isn't that adorable? Let's just add one more thing. Let's add some doodling on here, some stitching. I need to get my pen going here. That's my silver pen, which explains why it doesn't look great. And that's not the right pen either. Here we go. Okay, so we're just going to go ahead and add some stitch lines right along the outline of my card. Okay, so I went ahead and added my stitching around, um, around the outside of my card and also around the little pocket. And now I'm just going to add one little last element to the front of my card. And I'm just going to take one of these uh, fabric flowers and add these, one of these right to the front. Um, you know, I'm going to use this one because it's got the red in it in the same color. So I'm going to add that right to my pocket there. So, okay, thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye.